My name is Ryan Kamaka Kihal Fernandez. I uh, am, was raised on the island of Maui, uh, originally born in Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, I am a locally known Hawaiian, traditional Hawaiian falsetto singer uh, here on the island of Oahu. And uh, found the passion to continue and perpetuate Hawaii's culture through music, uh, as well as sharing the language of the land, which is Olelo Hawaii, Hawaiian language. So the song I shared is a song titled uh, Alulike. Alulike means to unite and come together. And this is a beautiful song that uh, a woman by the name of Haunani Apoleona had composed. And this song was uh, used as an encouragement, especially to the people of Hawaii, uh, to, to, to in, in hard times to come together, to unite and to work together. And there's a uh, a line, there are lines in there that says e hana meka oya i'o, to, to do things in truth. Uh, e hana meka ha'a ha'a, to do things with humility. Uh, and to olelo pono, to speak well. Um, and not just sounding like you, you know, you're, you're the, the greatest educator on the planet, but just to speak in, with respect. Um, and then it says nana aku ike kumo, which means to look to the source or the sources. You know, there's there's a saying that uh, you know aole pauka ike okahi. There is not one knowledge learned in one place. So when we look at to the sources uh, and we apply that to our lives, then we are able to um, you know to better navigate through life. Ho'olohe mai, yeah. When we take the time to listen then we will find the answers that we need. And uh, the only way that we can hear is sometimes, sometimes we speak up and sometimes we kind of take a step back and observe so that we can better get that answers that we need to holomua or to move forward in our lives. Growing up in the island of Maui for me is nothing short of, of a blessing. Um, you know, I grew up in the Hawaiian language immersion schooling and uh, through this, opportunity um, I learned and, uh, and became immersed in Hawaii's culture and as I got older you know my mom told me I've always enjoyed music I was always dancing in the crib when she uh, would put music on but Hawaiian music especially I, I say is something that I bec became enamored with because uh, I am a fluent Hawaiian language speaker and you know one of the things i've learned is when you uh, learn something 
then you, you know, you perpetuate it. And I don't think that it's a coincidence that I was uh, brought to Maui uh, and to Hawaii and uh, having that opportunity to, to learn Hawaii's language. So um, I, I, I look at it as a kuleano or responsibility to perpetuate uh, Hawaii's language and culture. In 2003, um, I pretty much got uh, encouraged to enter the Richard Ho'opi'i Falsetto Contest. And um, from there, the rest be kind of became history. Uh, I, I won that contest and just continued entertaining at all different venues and, and until it allowed me to perform all around the world. Uh, and I put out my very first album, uh, which is Vahi Mahalo, meaning to give thanks. Since COVID-19 started, it's been quite a bit of a challenge uh, in so many ways, and it's just interesting how, how it all plays out. Um, as a musician, uh, it, it had become very limited uh, to performing live, of course. Um, everything, everything got cut thought about it really quickly as to what are we going to do and fortunately we have social media so we could still engage with the audience that way and our followers and, and become a little bit more personable so you know I, I actually like that aspect as opposed to well I've learned that I've liked that aspect as opposed to performing on on the stages because we're so far away from the audience so it's like ah, okay what it has uh, encouraged me to do even more so besides just sing um, you know we have COVID-19 we have the, the the Black Lives Matter movement and you know in this moment I, I knew uh, that this is my time to speak up and and so I'm utilizing my platforms uh, as, as well as I can with my own personal experiences as a um, as a musician, as a, a African-American growing up here in Hawaii and what my life has been like growing up here, which, um, you know, I mean, it's not all, uh, you know, peachy keen, you know, there's always challenges everywhere that we go. But, um, you know, I would say that with the uh, amount of love that I have received growing up here, that's you know, through my music, this is how I'm able to express that and, and, and encourage and enlighten people. I've been involved with so many, so many things. Um, and as I got older and the more I uh, began to entertain around the world and meet all these different people, um, you know, the, the one thing that was very important for me was to be as authentic as possible. And with that understanding that music is a healing source, it's not just about the flash and show and, and all of that. To me, it, it, it's a healing source and, and there are different levels of healing. You know, things that I'm doing right now, I'm, I, I'm really, really focusing on, on myself first and foremost and being sure that my mind is, is sane and balanced through all of this craziness that we're going through. Uh, but yeah, you can find me on Facebook at kamakakihal or Kamakakihal Fernandez. Uh, my Instagram is KKF music or underscore music, KKF underscore music. Um, and if you want to learn more about my story, you can actually just go ahead and visit my website, which is kamakakehau.com. That's kamakakehau.com. K A M A K A K E H A U dot com. <laughs>